Hi guys, my name is Maya. Today I'm going to be showing you on how I achieved this look. This look is super simple and easy to do, and not only that, you can totally dress this look up or down depending on the occasion. Throughout this video, I am going to be talking about some of my favorite products and what I use almost every single day. So if you are interested and interested in supporting me, please like, comment, subscribe, go check out my Instagram at Mayella Artistry, and keep on watching. Okay, so before we go on with the video, I would like to say a big disclaimer. This is the way that I do my makeup, what works for me, this is my routine, you do not have to follow it. If you do something different, it works for you, great, keep on doing it, but this is just what I do. So, to get started, I always start off by pulling my hair back just because I don't want to get foundation or any product on it, and especially if it's already sort of done. I grab these big clips, you can get them pretty much anywhere. I think I got these from Urban Outfitters. I mostly just move my bangs and then put it to the back and now we can get started. So I always like to start off with moisturizer. With any good base for your makeup, you need to make sure that your skin is hydrated and prepped because this will act like an adhesive for your makeup. So my favorite moisturizers right now is the Rose Deep Hydration Cream by Fresh. It is so lovely. It smells so, so nice and it's water-based and it feels really smooth and gentle on the skin. My other favorite is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I'm gonna go in with this one today. It does the same thing as the fresh one, but this is just the one that I wanna use. I also love how this smells and the color is so pretty. It's like a nice, soft lilac color, love. Just gonna really focus this on my T-zone. My nose, my chin. And I'm gonna go in and start small circling motions to really make sure that this is set in there. To continue with our base makeup, we are gonna go in with a face primer. So I get a lot of questions on my Instagram asking why I need a face primer. Honestly, it really does help get that seamless flawless finish for your skin on top of like for your foundation so that's why i used it i haven't when i first started doing makeup i really didn't use it but once that someone taught me how to do it it really changed the way that my foundation sat and looked on my face and i recommend it for everyone now there are so many different kinds for so many different skin types tones etc etc find one that works for you it will help your makeup last longer and look more flawless throughout the day for today, I'm gonna be going in with my Tatcha Silk Canvas, which is also the same brand like my moisturizer that I just used. Now this one is a little bit pricey, but it really does a great job. It almost has like a putty-like texture, which is really nice on the skin. If you do not wanna fork out a fortune, I understand there are so many dupes for this one. I have it right here. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It has the exact same consistency, which honestly is so, so nice if you do not want to spend a lot. So for the Tatcha one, I use my fingers and I just sort of rub it and apply once again where I apply my moisturizer, which is basically all over my face. Small circular motions until my entire face is covered. Now on to makeup. So I start off my routine with my brows just because I want to make sure that they're clean and there's nothing on them. I don't really like my eyebrows having any kind of residue or foundation on them. So that's how I start off. I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is great if you just want to do like little detail and fill-ins. Because we are going for a more natural look, this is what I would use. I also like this pencil because as you can see, it is dual ended. It has a spoolie and the product all in one so you don't have to be switching off. The way that I start off, I brush my eyebrows into the shape that is desired. I start by going up, making sure that they're all up, and then go right on top of them and bring them to my desired shape. Next, I'm going to twist the product out. I start by the inner corner of my eyebrow and make a small faint line at the bottom. And then I use my spoolie to work the product upwards and sort of really diffuse into my skin and my eyebrow. And I basically do that all throughout. I do small strokes and brush.
After I filled in my eyebrows with my brow wiz, I am going to take an eyebrow gel. There are so many different gels. I've used the Benefit one, the Anastasia one, the ColourPop one. And for today, I am gonna be going in with the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel, Tinted Gel. And I like this one because um, other ones have left almost like a gray tint. This one is just purely brown and it's not too harsh, so it's not gonna completely paint them. This is just gonna lock it in place. So I just take whatever's on the brush and I very lightly start stroking my hairs in the same direction that I have already shaped them with my spoolie. And I do that on both of my brows very lightly. I do not want it to actually paint them just so that they're sort of locked in place. All right, next step. So we are now going to go into our eyes. Just like your face, your eyes do need an eyeshadow primer. Just like I said before, before I knew how all these primers worked, I never used them. My foundation and my eyeshadows wouldn't stay. And now this is a guarantee that your eyeshadows are gonna look more vibrant, more bold. The color's really gonna be in there and it's gonna last you. So for today, I'm gonna be going in with my MAC paint pot. This is in the shade Soft Ochre. I think that's how you say it. And this actually almost has the same consistency like my face primer. It's more creamy, more putty-like. So I'm just gonna go in with my finger and I'm going to dab it onto my eyelid. And not only will this make your found, um, excuse me, make your eyeshadow last longer, it almost acts like a clean slate. Because if you can see, I do have veins popping out onto my eyelid and this will get rid of all those many imperfections that probably nobody else notices but you do. <laughs> And we're just gonna tap that on and you can already see a difference. This is very clean and ready for any type of eyeshadow. So now that our primer is on our eyelids, we are ready to dive into eyeshadows. Today we are gonna be going in for a little bit more natural everyday wear. So we are gonna be going in with the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. I love this palette because it really can work for anyone. As you can see, it's sort of categorized in like a light, medium, dark toned palette kind of thing. And for me personally, I do like the more pinky vibes and browns. So we're gonna be focusing in the middle and dark toned areas. So we're gonna start off by grabbing a fluffy blending brush. This is by the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collaboration. This is the JH35. We're gonna tap into this shade right here called Petal. It's a very light, soft pink. Just serve at the tip of the brush, tap off the excess, and we're gonna focus that on our crease. This is gonna be our main transition shade. So just really try to keep it more in the crease. And make sure when you are applying your eyeshadow, you are tapping, not dragging. It does take a little bit longer, but the outcome looks so much more diffused and so much more blended. It really is worth it. So as you can see, that is a very subtle and soft shade, really almost barely noticeable. It almost matches my actual skin, which is what I want. Next, we're gonna go into a little bit of a darker pink tone shade. It's this one right here, and it is called Warm Rose. If you look at my brush, there's obviously more product on this side. I'm gonna use the same one so that it just blends a little bit more seamlessly. I'm gonna focus the shadow more on the tip of my brush because that gives me more control. Tap off the excess. We are now going to focus this on the outer part of our lid, okay? So don't blend it everywhere. We're just gonna keep this right in the outer and a little bit in the middle. Make sure you tap, do not drag. So now you can see the colors a little bit more intensified, but there's not too much of a difference. So this is where the last shade we're gonna be going in with is gonna be used. We are gonna be going in with the darkest shade in this palette. It's a really nice, rich chocolate brown, and this works on so many people. So this is 
only going to be focused on our outer part of our lid. We're going to go in the inner corner later on in this video. So once again, I'm going to use the same side as I did with the other ones. Just tapping a little bit because with darts, a little bit does go a long way. As you can see, I only put it on the very tip, tapping off the excess and once again, tapping, not dragging. And we really want to just focus this on the outer part. So now that we have all of our shades, our main shades blended, we can see that there's a gradual shade range in this where it goes from lighter to dark. That's exactly what we want. We don't want it too harsh because once again, this is for everyday makeup. So now we're gonna dive into these beautiful glitters right here. We're actually gonna be using two, a little mix. We're gonna go in with the sparkling sand shade and I'm once again using my finger because I find that it grips better onto my lid if I use my finger than a brush. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit and I'm gonna focus this more on the inner part of my lid. And for this, I sort of tap and drag, making sure that the glitter really sticks onto my eyelid. So now that I have that shade on, I'm gonna be dipping in with the same finger because I really want this to have a gradual blend. And I'm gonna be going in with this shade called Shimmering Pearl. So once again, just grabbing as much as I would like. It's such a pretty champagne color. And I'm gonna go into my inner corner and blend that out with the shimmering shade that I already have in there. Now that our eyeshadow is done, I am going to be adding a little bit of a wing. This is optional. I personally adore wings. I think that they really just bring the whole look together. If not, don't worry about it. Um, now, for eyeliner, I like to use a liquid liner, but there are so many different kinds like pencil, dip, felt. If you like felt, I recommend the ColourPop BFF liquid liner. Not only does this come with so much product and super affordable, the tip is so pointy and it's perfect for making sure you get that flick at the end sharp. If not, and you like liquid liner like me and don't wanna spend a gazillion dollars, I recommend the e.l.f. Cosmetics Jet Black Liquid Liner. This one is so easy to use and I've been using it forever and it's only like $3. So for me, I take the brush out. As you can see, it's very detailed brush. I take off the access excess product and I make it into a very sharp point so I have more control. For when I do my wing, I'm gonna come in a little bit closer. I start in the middle and work my way out. So, start in the middle. And right when that line hits the end of my eye, I do my flick. And then I connect it at the top and bring it down and I fill it in. So now both of my wings are done. A little bit sharp and extra, but that's okay. That's how I like it. And we can move on to our face and our foundation. I love, 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 love the Bobbi Brown Liquid Skin Foundation. Not the matte one, just the regular one. This one leaves me with such a nice natural looking skin. And not only is it very thin, but it's also buildable. So you can really work this up to a full glam look if you wanted to. I've been using this for years. I recommend to everyone. So I shake it up. I'm gonna pump about two to three squirts on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna be going in with an actual sponge today. I'm gonna be going in with my Morphe Dual Ended Sponge. I love this because this really leaves my face really flawless and bouncy, not too much product on the skin. If you were wanting a more full coverage look, I recommend going in with a foundation brush. But for today, we're just going in with the sponge. Make sure your sponge is damp. Do not go in this with a dry sponge. It will waste product and leave your skin looking not as fresh. 
So I just grab whatever's on the back and I start gently bouncing this into my skin. And just like our eyeshadow, you want to make sure that you are tapping and bouncing along the skin. Do not drag, it will leave streaks and not look as flawless and airbrushed as you wanted. Okay, concealer time. So my favorite concealer of all time, just like my foundation, I love and live for the NARS Radiant Concealer. I have tried so many different shades for every season when I'm pale, tan, etc. Right now I am in the shade Custard and I'm going to apply this to the high points of my face where light naturally hits and that's more directed on my T-zone. And because once again, this is a little bit more natural, more dewy, a little bit goes a long way with this. I'm going to apply it in the inner corners of my eyes, a little bit on my forehead, bridge of my nose, on my chin, corners of my nostrils, right there and right there. So. The one reason that I really like this is because I think this really mixes well with the foundation that I already have on and it just looks so much more flawless than it already is. I'm gonna be going in with the same sponge and once again, I use this because it's dual ended. This can really get into those tight, hard to reach places and that's what I'm gonna do. Once again, tapping motions, do not drag, tap. Okay, everything is blended out super nicely on my skin. We are gonna go in with setting powder. Now setting powder, you can do a lot of things with it. You can bake or you can just like lightly tap. Since we do want that glowy natural effect, we're not gonna put too much on. So we are going to be very detailed and use a very small brush. Um, there are no rules in makeup in my opinion. So I'm gonna do whatever I want. Um, but my favorite setting powder is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's super fine and it really just melts in the face. It looks really nice and natural. I'm going to tap just a little bit because I do not want a lot. And I'm basically going to apply this where I applied my concealer just to make sure that doesn't crease. So just a little bit on the tip right there. Gonna focus on the parts that I put my concealer on. You can sort of do small circular motions to really make sure it sets in there. So tap that away. As you can see, it really just melts in right away. You don't really need to wait that long. And it does sort of make your skin a little bit more matte. That's why we're not using a lot. I'm gonna put some right there. Okay, so now that our main base makeup is set, we're gonna finish up the eye look. We're not gonna do anything too dramatic, but we do wanna just sort of intensify it. We're gonna go in with the same palette in the darkest shade that we used on our outer corner, tapping just a little bit on the smudger brush. This is the Morphe 508, tapping off the excess, and we're gonna focus that on our outer lash line, connect that to the wing a little bit, and just very lightly start smudging that in. This is a great brush too because it really can sort of tight line the eyeshadow and exactly where you want it. Just like that, sort of fix it. Perfect. That already made such a big difference. You can see that this is a little bit more soft and this really just intensifies the look. Because I do want this to be more natural but intense at the same time just if I wanted to wear it up or down I'm going to add a black liner to my waterline we're gonna tight line our eyes I love 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 and live for the Marc Jacobs highliner gel crayons they are literally amazing they will stay on your eye they don't smudge they stay all day on your lid whatever it is these are going to last you for whatever you're going through and I love it because you don't have to sharpen it it's a twisty one and we're just gonna put this on our lower waterline. This really, I think, just sort of ties in the whole eye look together. It's such a subtle and small detail, but you can already see the difference in my eyes. Okay, so after I do that, we're not gonna add mascara yet. I will explain a little bit. But we are gonna finish our face, and because once again, we want this to be really dewy, really glowy, natural, everything, we're gonna be using more cream-based products. 
So I'm gonna start off with my blush. Now, because I want this to be more glowy, I'm gonna be using these. Now, I love, love, love the NARS Multiple Stick. It is a great cream blush that almost has like a built-in highlight. It has a really nice subtle shimmer. The only thing is that this one costs almost $40 when there is a beautiful dupe by ColourPop Cosmetics. This is the ColourPop Blush Sticks. It literally is the same concept. It is a blush cream stick. And this one, the shade particularly, also has that really nice effect of that shimmer. So I'm going to do both of them. On this side, I'm gonna be doing my NARS and on this side, the ColourPop, so you can see the difference. The main difference is that this one's $40 and this one retails for eight. So for this product, I really just twist it and I make circle and glide that on. Such a pretty shimmer, you can already see. And I'm gonna do that same thing with my ColourPop. Really rub that in and sort of glide it. A little bit does go a long way, but I love it because you can always add more because of how well this really melts and blends in with your skin. Since this is a cream, you can go in with a buffing brush or your fingers. I'm gonna do both. So I start by small taps, little circular motions and it leaves it so glowy and so hydrated looking. It's so nice and I just sort of do small little taps to help any rough edges. We do not want that. You can already see a little difference. There's a little glow right there. Same thing on this side. You're gonna really be able to see that there really is not that big of a difference, just the price. I'm also going to be using this as my highlight. I'm probably not going to add too much highlight at the end. And there you go. As you can see, very, very, very similar. Next, we are going to go in with some bronzer. I very much love bronzer. Really, <sighs> you just look so good with it. You know, it just makes you tan even when you're not. So for bronzer, I'm going to be going with a drugstore one. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. I also love this when doing natural glowy looks because this shade particularly has a little shimmer in it and it just looks so, so nice. I do a couple taps with an angled Morphe contour brush, tap off the excess, and for what I do, I do it in between my cheekbone and my jawline and I start tapping it in the places that I want and then I do upward circular motions to really get that going. I don't really want it past right here, like this section. So really going upwards and blending that into my hairline for a more contoured, snatched look. Even in my forehead. You can already see a difference. Like I got skinny just by a brush. Okay, the reason I didn't want to put on mascara right away is because we were gonna put more face products on and I didn't want to blend too hard that I accidentally messed up my lashes. I love, love, love my lashes from falsies to lash extensions to everything. But for right now, I have none of that and I do want to keep this more subtle, more natural. You know, I've said that a million times. So I'm not gonna curl my lashes because I don't need to with this mascara. My favorite all time favorite ever, ever, ever mascara is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I love it because the wand is so thin and it is so detail oriented. And not only that, it has that little slope which really lifts your lashes where you're not gonna need an eyelash curler. This one retails for about $28, I believe. You can buy it at Ulta, Sephora, those stores. If you do not want to spend $28 on a mascara, I 100% understand. There is also the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I've been using this one since high school. It has the same effect as the Benefit, where the wand is curled. The only difference is that this one is a little bit thicker, but it really does have that same ability to give your lashes that volume. But for today, I'm gonna to be going in with my Benefit. I adore this one. So just grab it get some product. I tap off any excess on the top. I'm gonna go in real close so you can sort of see how I curl my lashes. I go right at the root and I blink and roll at the same time. And you're gonna see that there's a big difference after I put my mascara on.
Okay, we are almost done. We got our lashes, our faces set. The last thing that I'm gonna add is lipstick. So for this look, I'm gonna be adding my all-time favorite. It is by MAC Cosmetics Velvet Teddy. This shade is a beautiful, like, dusty rose mauve color. It looks so great on so many different people, so many different kinds of skin tones. I definitely recommend this. It is a little bit pricier, but it lasts forever, okay? You cannot go wrong with this. It's such a perfect nude for me personally, so try it. I start off by using the tip of the lipstick as a lip liner. I'm not going to go in with actual lip liner today, so this is all we're using. And here I go. I start off at the top. Get that shape. And then I do that the same thing at the bottom. Mix. And there you have it. Okay guys, that is the completed look. It is very natural, very glowy, and perfect for anything. I hope that you guys liked my video. This is my first YouTube video. Please show me some kindness, show me some love. I could definitely use it. I love how this turned out. It is perfect for anything, anywhere, anytime. This is such an easy look to do. I just used one palette and my favorites I use daily. Just keep in mind, I did use a lot of cream products and your fingers are your best friend. You do not need a brush for everything. So I hope you learned something today and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment. Go check out my Instagram page at my yellow artistry and I will be seeing you soon. Thank you.